Hey guys, Justin here. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to integrate your own custom player to the Boss AI toolkit. So I'm not going to show how to integrate uh, specific tools or packages like the dynamic combat system, flexible combat system, etc. Um, what I'm going to show you is uh, the basics on how to integrate a custom player and it should apply to uh, basically every package or system out there if you just follow the these principles and so yeah so first off I'm going to open this player I'm going to add the actor tag of player this is because by default the boss attacks any actor or character that has the uh, player tag if you go to the boss behavior component, you can see here target tags enemy is set to player. And if we play this, oops, just, just add the boss, countess, and add the nav mesh. That's uh, too small. Right there should start attacking us and yeah it does next one is we need to implement the interface um, crowd control interface oh it's already implemented I right hear BI crowd control I was testing it earlier and now we just need to implement the get priority score function so this is by default by default it uses the distance between the boss and this actor to score uh, the priority if you have some if your game has some kind of like tanks healers and you want the the AI to always like attack the tank this is where you put your logic so for example if they have some kind of uh, aggro or taunt skill which increases whatever value you put that here so yeah by default it just uses the distance next is dealing damage I already created a basic attack function here when I press the left mouse button it does a sphere trace overlap which applies point damage to any character it overlaps so if I press that you can see that that red sphere is the damage so if I just attack as you can see she got damaged and that that's that if I wanted to force the AI or to tell the AI to dodge I just go and send an attack message the origin is the actor location and self is the attacker so by doing this we are basically telling the AI that hey the player is attacking you should probably do something like block or dodge next one is receiving damage so I'm gonna add event point damage and event radial damage so what I want to do here is get the damage type call process damage and then just plug in these values names are the same we don't have a block logic blood block we don't have a block logic for this player so let's just set that to false self is the damage actor and the result is the new damage so we don't have a health for this uh, player but if you had health you would use this damage to reduce the health for now let's just print a string color red so it's seen better print the damage that we receive copy and paste to radial oops uh, damage type target 
That is Causer. Yep. And if she attacks us, you can see the damage right at the left top corner. Lastly, we want to implement the other crowd control and status effects. So just add the BPC status effect component to your player. And after that, we want to implement these things right here. Get crowd control state should implement. Just create a variable of crowd control state and plug it in there. Receive debuff is an event as well as crowd control. To make our lives easier, I'm just going to copy the uh, crowd control and debuff logic from the example player that comes with the toolkit. So apply debuff, plug those in, and receive crowd control is a bit more complicated. Um, on change states and restore input and states, uh, this just disables player control for a brief period of time for the duration of the crowd control. So we're not going to do that for this one just to make things simpler. I'm just going to throw the player around with crowd control. And oh, and then let's just set crowd control state to be the control type. And then we just add a delay here, the duration, and we set the control type back to none. Obviously we need more complicated logic. So if you want to, you can just copy the one from the BP player, but most packages, they actually already have their own crowd control systems. So you can use those. So yeah, for now we're just going to do this, make it simple. Now we need a boss that actually does crowd control damage. So Rampage. And I'm going to set his debug ability index to zero because index zero is the smash ability. And there, as you can see, we're being knocked back. And I don't remember which one is the knock up. Knock up is four. So if we use four, debug ability index should knock us to the air, as you can see. There you go. And then for the flamethrower, howitzer, debug ability 2, should burn us. Yeah, as you can see, we're receiving burn damage right there. Should be being burnt. So yeah, status effects and crowd control works. And that's how you integrate your own custom player to the boss AI toolkit. Cheers.